Guys, we are in the home stretch. After this episode, there are only four more episodes until the Battle for Muni, at least on my short list. So I'm going to try to get through these next few reviews as quickly as possible. I've had a weird couple of days where it's been more difficult than I expected to get these reviews out at the rate that I wanted, but I am going to be trying to get these five reviews, this review and the next four out today and tomorrow, which means that if all goes to plan, my live reaction of the Battle for Muni should be this Monday. And you guys have no idea how excited I am for that. Because this show's good. This show has gotten really good. And from what I understand, the episodes that I'm watching now still aren't as good as Battle for Muni. Anyway, today we're talking about The Hard Way, another Ludo episode. Which again, you guys know how excited I am whenever I see one of those coming up. This is pretty simple, like most Ludo episodes, but still a goldmine of Ludo characterization. It's time for Ludo to start learning from Glossaric, and he thinks at first that he's going to have to force Glossaric to teach him, but that just isn't the case, which surprises him. Pleasantly, he is pleasantly surprised that Glossaric is perfectly willing to teach him. In fact, Glossaric takes everything that Ludo says very seriously. Ludo not only expects the training to be hard, but he wants it to be hard. He wants to have to work for this power that he's going to gain, which... I thought was interesting. And so Glossaric obliges and makes him do stuff like carrying the book up and down a steep hill. Only to reveal once Ludo starts to get impatient because he hasn't learned any magic yet, that Glossaric was just trying to do what he wanted. That he didn't actually have to do any of that manual labor stuff, he just has to follow the spells in the spell book. So he's flipping through trying to find a spell to teach to Ludo, and he stops at Eclipse's chapter for just a second, and that's important for later, before going back to the levitation spell. The same spell that Baby was trying to get Star to use to bring her the apple just a few episodes ago, which is important. And Ludo actually works at it. He reads through the pages, he assumes the stance, he says the incantation, he concentrates in the way that Glossaric tells him to concentrate, and after very few tries, he actually succeeds in moving the apple. Something that Star can't even do without putting her own twist on it. And this is when Glossaric reveals that while Star is more talented in magic overall, she's more talented in being imaginative and creative with her magic. When it comes to actually following the instructions, following pre-existing spells, she's just not very good at it, and Ludo is superior to her in that aspect. And Ludo is so super excited that Glossaric thinks he's better than Star in this one limited way. But then later that night, after their first day of learning magic, Ludo's wand speaks to him again, and it's revealed that whatever consciousness is in the wand, of course, we know at this point what the consciousness is, but the consciousness in his wand did see the locked chapter. It tells him that Glossaric is trying to hide it from him, so he goes and wakes Glossaric up, demands to see it, demands to have it open for him because Star has seen it, and he wants to be as good as Star. But as soon as he opens it and he starts looking at the spells, something changes and he is possessed by Toffee. And it's unclear whether or not some magic from the pages imprinted itself on Ludo and that's how Toffee was able to manifest in his body. Or if Toffee was just waiting to reveal himself until after Glossaric had opened that chapter, because it is revealed here that not only does Glossaric know who Toffee is, but he was expecting this, because this doesn't surprise him in the slightest. So it's possible that Toffee was just trying to get one over on Glossaric because he didn't think that Glossaric would actually open the chapter for him. And he says something along the lines of, you'll never get him over to your side. And I'm assuming they're talking about Ludo, which is also super interesting. And this is when Glossaric says again that he doesn't have a side. It, I don't believe him. Like, even if he doesn't have a horse in the race that is Star's family versus Toffee, he still has a side. His side is the Magic Council, magic itself. And whatever is going on right now is causing magic harm. It's causing it to go in the fritz. It's starting to wear away at it. And I do know just enough about Glossaric that hasn't been revealed in the show yet, primarily that he had a major part in creating the Magic Council, that I just can't imagine he'd want magic to degrade. And I would imagine that he would prefer that whichever side in that fight between Star's family and Toffee that would work best with him and would best preserve magic would win, and that's Star's family, at least from what we've seen. So he does have a side, regardless of what he says, which makes it super interesting that not only is it shown here that Ludo has some talented magic, but that apparently, at least as far as Toffee is concerned, Glossaric sees some purpose for Ludo. I'm really starting to see why Glossaric is some people's favorite character. He's still not mine, but he's definitely working his way up the list, though. To be fair, he's working his way up past the likes of Marco's friends from season one, so that's not saying much. But it is still happening, and I am starting to see him as one of the most compelling characters in the show, much like I saw Ludo starting this season. Speaking of Ludo, this episode actually gave us a lot of insight into his personality. I mentioned that he wanted to actually have to work for his power, that he wanted to have to earn his magic. And we do learn, kind of offhandedly through some of his dialogue, that that's because he has daddy issues. His dad never taught him how to make his way in the world. His dad never pushed him to be better. His dad never 
showed that he was proud of it. And so he's projecting all of this onto Glosseric, creating in Glosseric this sort of new father figure for himself. And Glosseric, again, seems to see this coming. He seems to expect it and takes it all in stride, even if he isn't super happy about it. Toffee popping up at the end and possessing Ludo did surprise me quite a bit. Ludo, with his seeming sense of entitlement and his desire to rule things, it genuinely surprised me that he wanted to earn his abilities, which means that this episode legitimately surprised me twice in just 11 minutes, and that's something that most shows can't do. Bravo. This may be a controversial statement considering how good recent episodes have been, but I think this might be my new favorite episode of the season at least so far. As per usual though, I'd like to know what do you guys think of this episode? If you have seen it, this is the hard way. I think it's seen it do episode 18B, if I'm not mistaken. Let's get a discussion going in the comment section down below or on my new Discord, link in the description. Either way though, guys, this has been AJ22 and I will talk to you guys later.